Good morning and a very happy Easter from all of us here at St Peter's Church in Kringleford. Now we, like many other Christians around the world, will be celebrating Easter very differently this year. But we will still be remembering uh, the greatest event that's ever happened. Our belief that one day, uh, shortly after they'd seen some friend, a friend die, some women went to the tomb, the place where his body had been laid. They'd seen him hung on a cross by the Romans uh, after hearing him do amazing things throughout his life and seeing how he treated people, the miracles he did. And they came to anoint his body. They came to a small hut, a, st uh, a stone tomb in a garden, to make his bedi body ready for burial. And yet when they got there, the scripture says, uh, although it was early in the morning, they found that instead of the tomb being secure, in fact, it was open. Instead of it being locked in a place of the dead, filled with his body, actually, it was empty. Now, later on that day, they would meet Jesus. Mary in the garden thought he was a gardener. When his disciples came, they found that his body had gone, although that his grave clothes had remained where they were. His friends met him on the road without realising who he was to begin with. And over the next days and weeks, he appeared to them in locked rooms. He had breakfast with them by the sea. He was seen by over 500 people. And Christians for two millennia now have believed that in this resurrection, we see that life has won. We see that Jesus can be trusted in his promises of forgiveness and that he will be with us always. We see the fact that even death cannot hold the Son of God and that we can know his life and his peace are all our lives and beyond. Now, I thoroughly believe that that tomb was empty, that Jesus had risen from the dead. And C.S. Lewis, the writer, says about Christianity in general, and I think it sticks of the resurrection in particular, that if it is not true, it's of no importance. If it is true, it is of infinite importance. But the only thing it cannot be is moderately important. So I invite you, this Easter, to dwell on the events of that first Easter day. I thoroughly believe that us today, our churches stand empty. Back then, that tomb stood empty. We are still meeting as a church community online. Uh, so go to our Facebook page, go to our YouTube channel, go to our Twitter page, or just drop me an email if you want to know what we're doing. We as a church believe that Jesus Christ is risen. And that is why it gives me great pleasure to wish you all a very happy Easter this day.